Hi YouTube, I'm going to go through a, a lithium job I've, I've done for a customer um, and just want to show it off really and um, try and give you an idea of the, the different features and, um, and why it's quite a nice system. Um, so if you need this kind of work doing and you want me to come in and install a, a nice lithium battery system for your narrowboat, um, yeah, get in touch. So it has, um, well you can see uh, most of it's Victron, a lot, lot of Victron equipment. Um, but but the battery itself is 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 built from raw cells, um, and I use a a rec BMS, and it's um, see that's a BMS, and that that looks after the cells. Those are the cells there. Um, so so it's it's really important. Well, you have to use a, a battery management system, a BMS, to to look after the cells in terms of not overcharging and not undercharging and and um looking at temperature so so there's no um charging below um certain temperatures and um and, and this bms of it, it it it's really well made it's made by a company in slovenia um it has has its own its own shunt and contactor 500 amp contactor and shunt um i, I normally mount them to a to a Lynx distributor um, and it's it's just neat a really neat way to do it um, and really it's equivalent to, to Victron's Lynx BMS um, so so the beauty of this system is that the cells are so cheap um, and and it gives you the same like functionality um, as like a top-of-the-range Victron BMS really um, so um, it uses a servo, has to have a servo fitted. There's a single communication lead between the BMS and the servo. So it's a canvas lead. Um, and then the servo, like, it's not just there for monitoring. It it, it, um, it actively controls a multi-plus and smart solar controller. Um, so in a similar way that the Link system does. Um, so, yeah, it's just... Um, you know, it's got all the advantages of the nice Victron system, but it, but it's a, uh, it's it's not quite as expensive, um, and this is it's actually um, five hundred and sixty amp hours. This, so eight cells gives you five sixty amp hours at, at twelve volts. Um, it has all, all the cable. I always use tin cable. Um, it's got a class T fuse fitted. Um, it's got a, a Victron battery protect for the DC loads. Um, so so the BMS also has extra. Um, control over different charging and discharging devices um so and it you can set it up to um to like disconnect the um, 12 volt dc at a maybe a higher voltage than it would the rest of the system um but uh, but yeah there's there's loads of great features and functions of this of this bms it's active cell balancing um, it actually comes up as a as a device on the on, on the touch screen on the for the servo um yeah it's it's just a really really nice system and having the servo actually the servo is a brilliant feature as well it's um it gets you on victron's vrm um which is a remote monitoring system online um so um yeah so So you actually you see you see the BMS comes up as a as a device on the um, on on the on the touch screen. Um, so um, I mean, there's a few different elements to the job, and this um, the basic lithium system, but there's also the um, the the solar side of it. So it's got seventeen hundred watts of solar. Um, I'm using a hundred amp Victron controller. Um, and that limits at about about thirteen hundred watts, really. You don't see more than thirteen hundred watts, um, but um, but that give you good hot water in the summer. So so the modern the the new version the multi plus is is like more efficient than ever. It is. It's it's um, it's a fair bit. It's come on since the earlier that you know the the aluminium case version, um, and it also has it has a, an AC two output, and that's a, a programmable output 240 volt output for for it can be used for different things but you can 
he can um, set it, program it based on state of charge. So for for automatic hot water in the summer, that's a brilliant feature. Um, so this this boat, they'll they'll get a lot of the summer they'll have automatic hot water, like immersion heat hot water, um, and and the lithium system lets you do so much more. Like basically, it'd be a um, electric galley really, so microwave, toaster, electric kettle. Um, small induction hub, um, so yeah, so almost almost gas free, pretty much gas free really. Um, and another aspect was alternated charging. So so we've I've I've used a weight speed WS five hundred regulator, and um, and that just is just um, properly regulated, um, and and the weight speed is good. Um, good with this system because it it, it has a, a like a a CAN bus connection as well to the to the BMS. It's on the same network as the BMS, and and the BMS controls that. Um, so yeah, so it's 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 well sorted. It's really good, um, and I mean alternator charging. It was pr pretty poor really because it's on a single alternator and running on a V belt. So it's never going to be amazing, um, and and for 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 lead acid charging um, i've had to use a, a a dc to dc charger um okay but for, for a lot of the modern engines um that side of it would be um simpler twin alternators um and then the second alternator on a modern engine it normally runs on a on a poly v so you see serious performance um so really fast recharge times in the winter Okay, and um, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about it, um, yeah, get in touch, give us a call. Okay, 